In this video, I'm going to show you how to format numbers in SQL Server using commas. Later in the video, I'll show you why it may not be such a good idea to use this technique at all in SQL Server. So the quick and easy way to format a number using commas in SQL Server is simply to use the format command. And here you just feed in two parameters. The first one is the number you want to format. The second parameter is a number format. Here we use N0. This is a .NET format and it just means it should be formatted as a number with zero decimal places. Okay, let's run that. So you can see we have commas in our number. If you want decimal places, you can see that it will be rounded but if you put N2 here, then you can have decimal places rounded as well. Instead of formatting as a number, you might want to format as currency. So if you want to do that, just change this to a C. And then we will have the number formatted as currency. I should just mention that this uses your system language setting. So if you can set the language to something else, We'll set it to German and then run this. We'll see that it formats the number quite differently. Germans tend to put the euro sign at the end of the number. And notice also that they use a full stop or period instead of commas. So this one and also this one are actually dependent on the system language setting that you are using. And if you want to specify the language, then you can set language. Uh, let's show Swedish. Swedish is one that's quite different as well. They use a space to denote the thousands. So be aware that if you are using N2 or C2 or C0, if you're using any of these, then it will take the language into consideration. Another way of formatting numbers is to use format and then use this expression. Uh, these are more difficult to understand, but let's see what this produces. So this doesn't format as a currency, although it still takes the language settings into account. Let's set it back to English and now it will use the commas that English speakers normally use. If you want help with either of these, then there are links in the description below. Finally, I should just mention that uh, many developers try not to use the format command in SQL at all. The reason for this is that really number formatting should be done in the presentation layer and not the database layer of your application. However, using format is generally okay if you are just doing simple reports in SQL Server itself. Finally, I should just mention that the format command was new to SQL Server 2012. I think most people are probably using that version these days, but just be careful if you're using very old database versions. Thanks for watching.